guys welcome back to my channel it is Monday morning here and I am up I'm kind of in the house today we had snow over the weekend and although it didn't really snow bad by my house um, like in the Portland area they still have like some snow covered roads and slush and all that kind of stuff and it's just something I really don't want to deal with today um, so today I'm in the house I am cleaning up I am tidying up uh, I haven't put that video out yet but stay tuned for that and I wanted to come and talk to you guys about um, acid reflux I've suffered with acid reflux for a couple of years now I've had a bunch of different surgeries over the past three to four years and you know just the different medications that they put you on can cause some acid reflux in the gut and in the chest and things like that so I've suffered with that I take omeprazole which helps a, you know about 85% of the time but I've been doing a lot of research as of late because lately I've been having a lot of reoccurrence even on the medication so just trying to uh, figure out what is causing my flare-ups in my diet and I know like a couple of them because I eat tomatoes and I eat you know lemon and lime in my water or drink lemon and lime in my water and some citrusy things and high acid foods and not a lot of fried foods but I did notice like I made some fried salmon skin yesterday and I noticed that backed up in my throat and my chest and stuff like that so for the next week I am going to be vlogging what I eat in a day for acid reflux and this is just really me testing out what works what doesn't work for lifestyle change overall because acid reflux if you know anything about acid reflux or just having heartburn periodically it is not fun at all and so and I mean it could get really really bad for some people and mine is kind of moderate so I just kind of want to go on this journey and I wanted to share with you what I eat in a day for my acid reflux, just eliminating a lot of things and we'll go over that as we go. So it is 10.01 this morning. I have not eaten yet. I was going to make some oatmeal. Oatmeal is really good for acid reflux. It helps to kind of tramp down the acid, soak up the acid in your gut. So I would do that, but now I'm kind of in the groove of tidying up. So I'm just going to make a smoothie and... This whole week, I'm also going to incorporate chia seed into my smoothies and a couple, and probably like my oatmeal. Uh, that's supposed to help you feel full, and it has a other lot of health benefits that I will put down in the description box below for this video. So this is how I make my morning smoothies typically. I don't typically add chia seeds, but today I'm going to add the chia seeds. So. Let me show you what I do. So I have a um, magic bullet. And so it's just, you know, small for a cup or whatever. So I have some strawberries, frozen strawberries, sh frozen blueberries. And I'm gonna add in my, um, this is the protein powder I use. This is, and you might've seen it. This is Sun Warrior Warrior Blend plant-based protein. I am lactose intolerant, although I do love my cheese and whatnot, but I really like this particular um, protein powder because it tastes really good. It's not super duper gritty after all, and it's plant-based, so it doesn't upset my stomach like the other whey proteins do. So I add a scoop of that in here and a tablespoon of this time I'm going to be doing a tablespoon of chia seeds and then I add water. So let me do that. A bunch of mixing later. <laughs> I just shake it a couple times so we get that top. I want it thoroughly mixed. Blueberry, strawberry, protein, and chia. I don't add any sugar to this because there is like some kind of, I think, stevia in the protein powder and it's sweet enough. Yeah. So I'm going to drink this this morning. 
Oh, I hit my tooth. And I'm gonna finish the dishes and cleaning up my kitchen area, or part of it anyway. And I will be back for lunch. All right, guys, I am back. It is after 12 o'clock and I'm starting to get a little hungry so while I'm still cleaning I figured I would start on my lunch I was gonna make pasta because I'm always game for pasta but I've been craving rice so I have this little minute rice something really quick little minute white rice that I'm gonna make and then I also have some fresh mushrooms and some fresh kale that I'm going to saute and I'm just gonna have rice kale and mushrooms so um, Boiling. I added a little bit of salt. Now I'm going to add in my rice. Because this is minute rice, put the top on it, turn it off. Done. Now I'm going to start on my veg. Now because I am doing this to relieve acid reflux one of the things I when I was researching it was saying how onions let's get some rice out of there and garlic my favorite things are can be triggers I've never had a problem with garlic and I use garlic in everything onions I think I'm gonna try to steer where away from and see if that helps but I am gonna use garlic because garlic has a bunch of other benefits um, you know anti-inflammatory and things of that nature and it just flat out tastes good and it makes all the food taste good so in this small little walk I have I'm gonna add some olive oil which is considered a healthy fat and I also always marinate my garlic in my olive oil to give my olive oil garlic flavor and my rice wants to roll over although it's off Fire. And I'm gonna let that heat up. I want it to be good and hot because I'm gonna cook my mushrooms first and I don't want the water to come out in the mushrooms. I want it to evaporate. I don't want any juice. I want them to be nice and brown. So I will be back when this heats up. I've added the mushrooms in. And I'm gonna just let like those cook. And since the kale doesn't take that long, that'll be the last thing I add in along with the garlic because I don't want my garlic to burn. Added in the kale. Now I'm gonna add in one, two, three teaspoons of minced garlic. Still haven't added any salt to this yet. I'm gonna let that cook down and I'm gonna add a little salt towards the end. Kale has begun to wilt down. Keep, mix it and let it sit, mix it, let it sit. That way all the liquid will evaporate. Okay guys, I'm gonna add just a little bit of kosher, coarse kosher salt. Because I'm going to add some light chili sauce to this. Well, to my, not to, I guess maybe, not to this, but to my rice. And then I'm also going to add extra flavoring. I'm going to put some pure black sesame oil. Just a little bit, because I don't want it to overpower it. And I'm going to turn it off the heat, because it's done. on a plate and I'll be back. Alright guys, I've plated it or bowled it <laughs> and I am going to add some light soy sauce. and 
post it to Instagram. Okay, I've done the whole picture. I gotta sit down for a quick second. Let's give it a taste. Oh, I'm gonna sit down, I did my pictures. I'm actually filming two videos. I'm filming this one and I was filming another one. I'm going to eat. Oh, rice. It's hot. Oh, my same place. Mushroom. Mm. I love mushrooms. And kale. I wish I could put my ponzu sauce on there, but it has citrus in it, so it's all right. So I'm going to go eat this, and I'm going to go edit a video that will come out before this. And I will see you guys for snack. Okay, hey guys, I'm down to my last meal today. And this is a, um, what is this? This is all veggies with sweet potato noodles that I have made a couple of days ago. So I'm going to eat that. And then for my dessert, because I've been so good, I'm going to eat like that one. I have a little piece of sweet potato pie that I'm going to eat. So I'll be back once I get this heated up. All right, guys, I'm down to the last meal tonight. I have a sweet potato noodle, noodle salad that I made. Um, I blogged it on my blog website. I will link that in the description box below, and there should be a little tag somewhere up here. Um, click that and read about how I took salad leaves and made a pasta um, to help prevent food waste. So, I'm going to eat my salad. The only thing is, this has tomatoes in it, which is a trigger for acid reflux. So, I will be uh, taking the tomatoes out of this salad. And I also have a sweet potato pie. I haven't had any sugar today, so that will be my sugar for the day. And I've been really good. I haven't had any flare ups with the acid reflux or anything today. So, so far, so good. I am going to eat my dinner and I'm going to relax. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Until then, remember to cook, eat, and enjoy. Peace.